She was dedicated with Nishmas Rachelea Bas Rav Chaim Tzvi. Uh, we've been discussing the Malach of Mako Epatish, a very, very fasting Malach, and what I wanted to turn to today is a uh, very, very important Isid Rabbana that comes under the rubric of Mako Epatish. Um, and this is the question of Hashmoas Kol, of, uh, of generating musical sounds, playing musical instruments on Shabbos, and, um, and then that which is, uh, flows therefrom. And um, it seems to be, again, the, uh, the most striking application is going to come up when it comes to clapping on Shabbos, dancing on Shabbos, what the Mishnah calls knee slapping on Shabbos, bang on the table on Shabbos, all these halachos will flow from, uh, from this topic. And you take a look at the Mishnah in Maseches Beitza, Daf Lamed Vav Medbez, the Mishnah tells us as follows. It seems like a pretty open and shut case. The Mishnah says, <clears throat> Lo, well, we'll start from the beginning of the unit. The Mishnah tells us, Elohein Mishum Shvus. There's certainly Surim that you're not allowed to do on Shabbos. Nisid Rabbanon Mishum Shvus, Egzeira Shema Yava. What are these Surim on this list? Lo Olin Ba'ilan. You can't climb a tree on Shabbos. Why? Because you might come to break branches, pluck fruit, and Israel coats there. Lo Roch Vinal Gabe Behema. You're not allowed to ride a horse or other animal on Shabbos because that's going to elevate you, put you near the trees. And also, you might come to break branches on Shabbos. Velo Shatin Al Pnei Hamayim. You're not allowed to boat ride on Shabbos. You can't take raft rides on Shabbos. That is prohibited. And the Gemara says, mm-hmm. Because you might on Shabbos therefore make a chavish shal shayatin, a raft. A, uh, they used to make rafts out of barrels. They'd hollow out a barrel, make a raft. That would be prohibited. You're not allowed to be metapeach. Rashi explains what is metapchin biyad. You can't clap on Shabbos. Ve'en mesapkin. What is mesapkin? Al yerech. You can't knee slap. Ve'en merakdin. What is merakdin? Baregel. You can't go ahead and dance on Shabbos. Kate said merakdin lifnei akala. All of that is us on Shabbos and Yantif. Says the Rashi. Ve'kulam l'simcha u'l'shir. All of this is done in the context of simcha, of shir, and... The Gemara tells us a little bit later on what's the problem over here. Why is this Aser? Gzeira Shema Yitakein Klishir. This is Aser because of Gzeira. That if we allow you to do this, what might happen is you're going to start taking out the instruments and then the instrument is going to break. You're going to rip a string on a guitar and then you're going to want to fix that string on the guitar. Gzeira Shema Yitakein Klishir. What is the prohibition of fixing an instrument on Shabbat? That's our Malacha that we've been discussing. That's the prohibition of Machabit Patish. So a Gzeira of Makebe Patish is, is what is not dancing on Shabbos, not clapping on Shabbos, and not knee slapping on Shabbos. Seems like quite a big Kiddush. After all, uh, even playing a musical instrument on Shabbos, that itself is only Usr Shemei Tak and Klishir because it might break. And here we're taking it even a step further. We're saying you can't clap on Shabbos. Why? Lest there be an instrument there. Lest that instrument break. And there you might go ahead and fix it. And it is awesome. Uh, that's what the Mishnah says. Open and shut Mishnah. And seems nothing to talk about clapping on Shabbos in a rhythmic fashion. Dancing, knee slapping is awesome. You'll ask me, what about the Kalabach Minyonim? Let's hold off. Let's take it step by step. So is there any, what's going on over here? Is there any maneuverability? So there is an interesting Tysis, a fasting Tos. In fact, I would argue even a stunningly Mechudish Dika Tysis. That Tos is found in Masech Hazbeit, the Daf Lamid. And... It's Dibur Hamas Latnan, Lamed Amat Aleph, and here he cites this Mishnah, a Metabchen, a Meratchen, Perish Rashi, Perish Rashi, Shemitak, and Klishir. The reason is because you might come to fix a musical instrument. That's why these activities are awesome. That's exactly what the Gemara says later on. So comes Tos and says, Umiu Lidi Don Shari, but for us, us in France, it's Mutter. Why? In those days, everyone, they had primitive instruments, and everyone could go ahead and fix the primitive instruments. It wasn't a big deal. But today, in medieval France, we have sophisticated instruments. We have harps, we have 
pianos, we have guitars, we have fancy instruments, violins, and only a mumche, only someone with sophistication can go in and fix them, so therefore, the Xerah doesn't apply to us. Yeah, you can't play musical instruments on Shabbos, because you, the performer, probably can fix that instrument, but to clap? I can't clap on Shabbos, I have no clue from instruments, I don't know what from instruments. I can't fix an instrument. I can't even play an instrument. So therefore, Lediton, when we don't have that sophistication, says Tosus, there's no prohibition of of clapping. There's no prohibition. Lo shaykh la migzar, Lididon. Excuse me. Lididon, ain't on a bikin lasis klishir, but lo shaykh la migzar. There's no reason for exera because we do not have this ability. That is the comment that is made by Tosus. If you look at the Beis Yosef in Simen Shem Lamed Ches, the Beis Yosef finds his Tosus to be very, very difficult. Logically, the Tosus makes sense. I understand what he's saying. After all, if we can't